So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Second and ten now. Ryan connects with Sanu right side. It's a loss of four. Now third down. A dime look defensively here for the Titans on third. From the gun on third down, Ryan. And the catch is made by Justin Hardy. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Snap count through the defense off. Five-yard penalty. Great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Mariota from the gun on third down. Trying to force it to his tight end, Walker, and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. But they decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Ryan. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So they still get the completion even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback for the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. It's a little risk-reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback. And so he gets completion here. Congratulations. Keep coming at him. And hopefully it pays off by the end of the game that you're starting to get to him while still able to cover on the back end. And this is Gabriel on the catch. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. It's caught. Weems. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Ryan firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before taking this down to the eight. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And now the offense operates in the red zone. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Again, Ryan. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Mariota now to throw on first down. Walker with a grab, left side. Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. Touchdown, Titans. Delaney Walker, 76 yards. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. 